What's the word, everybody? It's your boy Jay Sites, and I'm back today with another tutorial, and I'm here to teach y'all how I made my intro. This thing is fairly easy. You need three softwares. You need Adobe Illustrator, you need Photoshop, and you need After Effects. We're gonna start off in Photoshop. In Photoshop, you wanna drag your layer, and before you do anything to the logo, make a background. Color it any color you need to. Now grab your selection tool, you can hold this little uh, thing over here to either use the quick selection or the magic wand, whichever one you want to use. And then once you have that selected, you want to come back over here, grab your, your logo and the layer box. You hold shift and you start highlighting around your, uh, your logo. Once you have that selected, you want to right click your selection make a work path hit ok hit file go to export and you want to hit paths to illustrator hit ok i already have one here so i'm not going to save this when you come to illustrator you want to keep these settings and you want to make sure you have this first tool highlighted You want to click, drag over your layer, and then you want to hold control over one of these points that show the X and Y coordinates, and you want to press copy until you see the points jump. You come into After Effects, you hit Layer, New, put a solid in there, make it white, and then you hit Control V. And this is some real sauce right here, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, this is some real sauce. So before you do anything to your logo, you wanna grab your original logo. So you have the uh you have the same size and stuff like that. You know what to do with it. You could probably size it up, size it up. Don't turn that off, my bad. That would be it. That's a dumb shit. That's a dumb, that's a dumb choice. Size it up, you know what I'm saying? Match everything up. Alright, once you got everything looking kind of how you want it to, you want to bring your original layer, maybe about to half your composition. Oh, so now you see it pop up. And with your top layer selected, which is your solid, you want to add the, the stroke effect. You want to bring the end from 100% to 0%. Click original image and change that to on transparent. Boom. This is where the magic happens. You want to hit the stopwatch on end and maybe around halfway through your composition, which should only be about five to six seconds, seven, seven seconds. You want to bring this back up to 100. Press U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes. I like those keyframes. Right click them, keyframe assist, and hit easy ease or just press F9. You want to open the graph editor that's up here above your timeline a little bit click the top point and drag it back just a you know tad bit maybe down some just to you know have a, some motion going on and then you take the bottom one which is the beginning and you drag that up just a tad bit like that let's see how that looks right here. So now you can get rid of this. Let's stylize this just a little bit on your logo layer. When it comes to transparent layers, most times um, you just want to pre-compose and move all the attributes because sometimes After Effects does this weird. You add a let's say you add like a deep a deep glow effect. You see that little line there? You, you don't want that. So let me delete it. Right click, pre-compose that jaw, move all attributes, and then you add the effect. Add any type of glow you have. S glow, glow, deep glow, optical glow, any glow is good. Now when you grab your glow, 
you don't want the glow to be extreme so bring your glow just a little bit you know just right there don't have it don't have it looking too crazy and then you want to also add s flicker up that flicker to about 0 0.7 just to give it some life maybe up the, the wave amplitude to uh 0 0.5 and now this is where you source it up you hit p on your keyboard you hold alt and click the stopwatch just type in wiggle open up the brackets with shift and nine and maybe put like five comma 15 and then hit shift and zero you know to close that out and to transition it out scale press s on your keyboard make a keyframe five or ten frames before it ends and then make another one where it ends and on the one at the end you want to put that down to zero enable motion blur and if you have flow you can just maybe use q i would always use um the cube in you know, if you don't have that or you don't want to buy it, you just come here. I'm sorry, you highlight your keyframes. You right click them, Johns. Keyframe assist, easy ease. And you come over to your uh, your waveform. And all you do, you hit the, you take the, you take the, the, the bottom one. You take the bottom one and you drag it back. And you take this top one and instead of dragging it forward, you drag this one down. So it's just like. So on your layer with the stroke, you're gonna do the same thing. Add maybe like a deep glow. Change the color to anything you prefer. As y'all see in my intro, that boy is orange. So we just gonna use orange once again. Bring down in your glow settings, your radius. This is way too bright. and now if you have twitch this is what i use you don't have to do this but this is what i use <laughs> and i'm gonna put this preset down in the um in the description if you guys really if you need it make an adjustment layer you add twitch and make that about seven to eight frames long you're gonna go back to the last two frames of your solid and drag that back. And then when you do that, hey, that's when you do that, you're gonna come to your operation controls, come to light, and you're gonna boost that up to like a thousand. Change that from both from brighter to both. And you're gonna get this little trend, this little animation. Right, so what you got that situated is how you want it to look you test to see if it's transparent now the rendering you hit control m on the output module you want to change your format to quick time change the channels from rgb to rgb plus alpha hit ok and then make a name hit save and render that joint. And that's it. And yeah, man, that's that's basically how I made my intro, man. If y'all want that video on how to make this uh 3D and use this in uh Element 3D, just uh drop a like, a comment, and let me know, man.